We have a pretty complicated question here. It says the graph of this quadratic equation is translated 40 units to the right and 8 units down. And we were supposed to find uh, the graph of the new equation, the equation of the new graph, and where it intersects the original graph, which really means that you have to solve the two equations, set them equal to each other. Well, let's get started. Let's take a look at the original equation. We have y is equal to x squared plus 2x. In order to find a vertex for this one, I have to complete square. So I'm going to add a magic number minus the same magic number. To get this magic number, you basically take the coefficient of the x divided by 2 and square it. In our case here, it's 1. This is how you get 1 over here. And then you group the first two, and you, first three terms, you'll see that here is the vertex form. And the vertex for the old one is equal to, you set this one equal to 0. That gives you minus 1 and minus 1. Okay. The reason we set this one equal to 0 is we're trying to find the lowest point on this curve. In order to find the lowest curve, we want this whole term equal to 0. So the minus 1 stands out on its own. Okay. That's why the y value is minus 1. So if we basically uh, provide a quick sketch for this vertex on the old curve, I have a minus 1, minus 1, so the curve roughly looks like that, okay. going upward like that, minus 1, minus 1. Okay, now we were told the x of the vertex went over to the right four units. So the new graph, let's see if I can have a different color pen here, the new graph is going to be a positive 3 for the x. And then it went down for 8 units. So it's going to be a minus 9 then for for that one. So it's going to go over here and then go down 8 units. So the new one is, uh, change the color here, this is minus 9. Okay. So let's write that one into the new graph. New graph is going to be here, vertex going up like that. So the equation for this new one, let's put it over here. It'll be that's called a function of g. It's a new one. That's going to be x minus whatever I had. Okay, so squared minus nine. This is the new one. Once I find the new one, what I can do is set the old one y equal to g of x, and then I'm going to solve for the x. So I have x squared plus two x is equal to x minus 3 squared minus 9. Let's open this up. So I have x squared plus 2x equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9. 9 cancels out. And I have this one cancel. And then I have 8x equal to 0, or x equal to 0. So the new and old graph is going to intersect at x equal to 0. Okay. Let's double make sure everything is fine. So here's the vertex, minus 1, minus 1. It went over 4 units, and it went down um, unit 4 units to the right and 8 units down. So uh, I have a 3 over uh, positive 3 and minus 9. I'm putting the vertex from here. I have a positive 3 and minus 9. I'm setting those two equal to each other. I have... Um, this and minus 6x plus 9, it cancels out, so x equal to 0. So the intersector at x equal to 0. All right, hope this helps. Have a confident day.